this one, this question I'm very excited about. I'm going to put a, kind of put you all on the spot, but I'm feeling like you're, you can rise to the uh, occasion. So Malcolm and Marie, the movie that we've talked about with Zendaya, is a two-hander. What actor or actress would you all be most excited to do a movie with just you and that person? Someone, someone alive. Riz. Can I pick everyone on this call? Yes, you can. But no, Come on, guys, that, that, that's a great. That's a great answer. Let's take but a leaf I also out of Zendaya's book, man. Not... I'm going to call you guys up. I'm going to ask you all to put in some money. <laughs> we'll, we'll shoot something together. Right. I might okay, just ask someone not on the screen again, though. Let's see. Right, there you go. And so, so Riz, I'm going to I'm going to put you on the spot. Anyone else? Anyone else though? That's not. Part of tonight. Oh, anyone else? Oh man, um, you know some uh, someone who isn't on this call, but who just gave such a transcendent performance this year was Anthony Hopkins. What a master! At the age of eighty-three, to still be doing things that I have never seen him do before, and I've seen all of his work. To consistently be challenging himself, pushing himself, being so unpredictable to watch, but still so technically gifted. I would love to to work with him because I feel every time you work with people, you learn from them. I can't imagine everything that I'd learned from him. So I would say Tony Hopkins. Great answer. Maria, who would you want to do a two person movie with? Um, can we do it all together? I mean, let's, let's create something together. Uh, I think Zendaya has already experienced enough and let's do something together. All of us. Um, I don't know. I really appreciate all of, all of this talented people that I'm at this call right now. So maybe dumb. Of course I want to do a movie with, uh, one incredible Danish actress called Trini Dernholm. She's my biggest uh, idol. So I have to mention her name for sure. Okay. Kingsley? Riz, Riz stole my answer. I was going to say Tony Hopkins as well. But, um, oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, just because I've heard so many amazing things about him on set and just the way he works. And this is such a, yeah, it's Tony Hopkins. I don't need to <laughs> explain why. Um, but as okay. soon as Riz, him, I'll say Mads, Mads Mikkelsen. I, 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 I've probably watched another round like three or four times and I, I, what he does in that movie represents everything about this business that I wanted to get into originally. Just such a wonderful film and just such a deeply nuanced and touching performance. Like to make that dance at the end not be oh. cheesy is just insanity. So I say Mads. Okay. Andra, Dream Coaster. Uh, yeah, piggyback off of what Riz said as well to everybody on this call. And I actually think Riz will be a very good investment. <laughs> There's a lot of talent in here. So uh, yeah, Look, I'll give you $5. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no um, I, I'm going to go with, oh God, this is actually really, really hard to choose. But I think I'm going to go with uh, Regina King. Uh, because I just think, you know, Regina is not just a brilliant actor, but obviously it was we see a brilliant director. So I feel like it would be um, learning experience, um, you know, from just someone who had so many just different encounters and, and has, you know, sort of overcome so many hurdles in the business. And she's uh, just, a, just a really bright look. So I think um, Regina King would be uh, a really interesting person to do with. Person. Great answer. Sydney? Um, okay, so when I was in high school, I was like, I religiously watched all of Kevin Smith's movies because I loved that shit. And um, and also his daughter is like really cool. She's a great performer, like musician and actress. And I follow her on Instagram and I would be like, it would be really cool to get to work with her specifically. Um, her name is Harley Smith and she's just like, she seems really cool and I really want to meet her and I would love to work with her. <laughs> All right, Vanessa, how about you? I was going to say Anthony Hopkins as well, actually, because he is the ultimate jazz player. He's just a jazz player, isn't he, really? Um, but because everyone um, has said him as well, I think um, I will say Meryl uh, or Jenna Rollins, who's, you know, either one of them, they're just like, just so formidable, just forces of nature. And I think you'd learn just from like breathing in the same space as them. Absolutely. Tahar? 
Oh, I'd go for Daniel Del Lewis. He's, uh, he's just the greatest. I mean, each time he performs, it's like incredible. This man is, is something else, really. Okay, Zendaya, I'll, I'll let you answer the question if you have someone else. I mean, you've done it with John David Washington, <laughs> which is pretty great. But if you, if you yeah. could pick someone else, no, John David was a dream. Um, I would also say Michaela Cole. I'm a huge fan of of everything that she continues to do. I think she's absolutely brilliant. I'll work with her in whatever she wants to do. So that's my answer. 